letter T in your notes the word transformation. If you remember, there was the three different types of transformation. There is the translation. You already have this. You really don't have to it out. You've got the rotation. What was the third one? What? Reflection. Those are the mathematical words that are leave those instead of flip, whatever there. But if you take a look at... Uh, go to page 576 in your book, just to see if you kind of get them, just picking up what they're laying down. Letter A on page 576 says, sketch an uppercase letter R after a reflection in its vertical segment. Sketching, I'm following the direction, you know this one. I'm sketching an uppercase letter R. Oh, nice looking R, isn't it? What does it mean to reflect that about its vertical segment? That's kind of goofy to me. Well, in order to reflect it over its vertical segment, you probably need to take apart the word vertical. What's vertical mean? John? Up and down. Up and down. And where do you see an up and down segment on that letter R? Joseph? The right east side, left side, east right side, side, north side? Left side. Left side, right. Here is your vertical segment. So they're asking you to reflect it about that, which means reflection is a flip. So basically you're taking that R and flipping it over, so it's going to look like this. The vertical segment's going to stay the same. That's kind of the point where it's getting reflected. And it's going to go like this. And then you've got this. Right that is a reflection about the vertical segment. Isn't that exciting? Letter B says sketch an uppercase letter R after a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation. So letter B. Let's start off with our R again. What does it mean to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise? Maybe sometimes people are unfamiliar with clockwise and counterclockwise. What does clockwise mean? The way that a clock goes. The clock, hands on a clock go this way. That's clockwise. So counterclockwise means it would go, if a clock would happen to spin backwards, it would go that direction. Am I doing this clockwise or counterclockwise? Yeah. It says do it counterclockwise, so that means it's going to spin this way 90 degrees if I can get it to do that. So what would happen? What would that look like? If you were explaining it to me, Caleb. It would look exactly like the one that we did. It would not look like the one I just did. If I take this in here, by the way, here, I, since I've got the, the beauty of the board here, I might be able to actually move this. Get that out of here. Get, get, get. See if I can do this. If I were to turn that counterclockwise 90 degrees, which is a quarter of a turn, which doesn't do it because it's warped because the board is not true. So if you turn it and spin it, it's like that R is laying on its back. That would be a counterclockwise. 90 degrees means it started off there, ended up like this. Started off like this, turn 90 degrees, looks like that. 
And then look at the next one. It says, name the transformation or combination of transformations that would change letter A to letter B. So if you look at number letter C, did I have something wrong? What do you have to do? You're looking in your book on page 576. Letter C there, what happened for triangle A to turn into triangle B? It was triangle A, it turned into triangle B. What happened there, Lauren? There's a reflection. About what? Now that we use that little terminology, you could say it reflected about its... about the vertical segment. So get flipped over that. How about letter D? Ooh, that's a good one. How did it go from letter A to letter B? Tell me what happened. Layton? A 90 degree rotation. In what direction? Counterclockwise. Yep. 90 degree rotation counterclockwise. Letter E. Ooh, there's a good one. E. How did letter A, how did this triangle end up, how did triangle A end up looking like triangle B? Let's see. Riley says, what would it be reflected on? You're thinking, and here's where you have to think a little outside the box. I think you're thinking that it was reflected right here, right? You look and see what happens here. Okay, I think I can do that. Oops. Which means I would take this. Oops, I don't think it works. How can I do that? I think I can undo it. Can I undo it? If you reflected it on that, actually what would happen is it would look more like this. It's actually not. Is not actually a reflection. If you reflected it there, it would look like gosh, it would look like, it would look like this and like this. That would be that reflection. If you flip that thing over there, it would be that. So it's actually not that. However, the notice the direction say what transformation or combination of transformations would get you there. That's a good guess though. That's actually what I would have thought right off the bat. Sit to learn. Well, let me rotate that one. You think that's it? Well, kind of with this board, it actually looks like it is. And it is partially a rotation, but it's not only a rotation, it is also a trans. Relation and a rotation, according to my book here. It was a rotate. It is a rotation, and you have to move it a little bit. But that's kind of tough. That's kind of tough to see. Uh, I don't know why you couldn't. Oh, actually, it says rotation or rotation and translation. So yeah, you're right. How about letter F? Oh, I'm not even going to answer letter F because they have like eight different answers. Reflection and translation, or rotation and reflection, or rotation and reflection and translation. How are you supposed to answer that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.